name is Julie Heffernan. My predominant medium is painting, but this is my first foray into video and sculpture and I'm very excited about it. The main themes of my work, they come out of a concern about what's happening to us environmentally. But whereas environmentalism and climate change tend to be kind of apocalyptic in uh, their ramifications, it's the end of time and all, I think I'm tending more towards a kind of a Jonathan Franzen-esque uh, idea of conservation. That what I want to depict in my paintings is a sense of activity of doing, of preserving and conserving. So whereas my paintings before were um, coming out of this process called image streaming, um, where I would notice a picture, a particular picture that fascinated me coming into my mind and I would build a painting around it and they often uh, stem from a kind of presentational idea of the female figure, almost like the saints that I grew up with as a little young Catholic. Now the, the women are activated uh, and engaged in building new habitats, gathering things together, uh, cleaning up, that sort of thing. In terms of the style that I pursue, it's been called Old Master, which is fine, um, except for the idea that I believe that the Old Masters were following their own experience of mind's eye imagery, where um, what they saw in their heads they wanted to bring into light and color. And we see shadow and light, as a matter of course. So I think of it more as painting about clarity. The clarity um, that I, I bring to the mind's eye imagery um, as it makes its way to you know, the outside world. So I don't think of it as old master. I think of it as um, trying to be as clear as I possibly can. When I first started to notice this thing called image streaming, which is the spontaneous pictures, uh, I was doing a very different kind of work. It was neo-expressionist, it was a social critique, that kind of thing. But when I noticed these pictures, they were a lot more interesting than what I was painting, I felt. And so when these pictures flooded in, I felt like I'm gonna pursue them like a lover because if there's any kind of font of creativity, this is the closest I may get to it. So um, I tried a lot of different things, but I stumbled on, because I wanted the, the depiction of this image streaming material to be consonant with what it looked like in my head. So they tended to be, you know, the size of a forehead. I, you know, imagine like a slide being screened onto the front of my, my brain. And on its own, they were so little, they, they were getting lost. But when I discovered how they worked so well in a still life, that became the first example of pictures within a picture because from the outside you would see what looked like a glorious still life, big, writ large, six feet or so, and then when you'd come closer this world of, of internal images would open up and you'd realize it was a very different kind of, of painting. So it's continued that way where I think of it as m movies happen linearly and paintings happen um, almost uh, almost in space, you know, where what's behind the figure is ramifying the figure herself. So it's, it's um, a kind of a cornucopia of pockets that can open new worlds. I look for forms that contain the complexity of trees, and it's not only in trees, but in fur. I mean, fur is a, a wildly interesting world of, you know, when you think about fur and you think sketchily, um, uh, you think of texture, but when you actually have to paint that and, and the, the, the tufts are going every which way, it's like a little mini landscape. And rocks, similarly, are like mini landscapes, so that's another version of the picture within a picture, um, where you can, the microscopic aspect of something opens up to parallels to other complex forms.
The idea of conservation that interests me um, has to do with recognizing that we live in a complex world and far from scaring us or um, intimidating us, it can open us up to the complexity of our own psyches, of another human being. And every day I have to walk the dog and I happen to live by Prospect Park, so I walk in the backwoods and I gaze upon the complexity of trees every day. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they are cathedrals, as somebody called them at some point. And my paintings also have, uh, I long for um, them to be counterparts to this complexity of form that I see in trees. So the natural extension of that was to make my own tree. And it, it came about as a result of one of these images that popped into my head, which essentially was the trunk of a tree with knot holes that took you inside the tree. And it, you know, in the form of like it being almost a physical body. So we made that uh, manifest. And then suddenly the tree, just like any living being, needed to grow. So it sprouted and it sprouted in many directions and that's what you see now.